Hey, I'm here with uh, Carl Washburn, who's the CEO of Vosel. Uh, I just learned a lot about this very interesting company and, and what you guys are doing in terms of messaging platforms for mobile and feature phones. Um, mm -hmm. I think you guys are onto something really important. I just wondered uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> As you look at the convergence of wireless and health, it seems like there should be more use of wireless technologies in healthcare. Yeah. Pillphone is a platform that does that. Uh, Pillphone is an application developed by Vosel mm -hmm. that uh, has all the information in the pill book as a reference guide to patients. But what's really interesting is patients can go into the application or into a secure website and actually create a list of their current medications. Not only do they keep a list of the medications, but they set uh, alarms yeah. each time they need to take a medication. The phone is in its idle state. It lights up. Yeah. It rings. You flip it open. There's a picture of the medication. To remind and you. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like and a pill box, except it's, it's a actually a phone. Box. And the user yeah. interface is yeah. designed after an alarm clock. Alarm clock, you either turn it off or you hit snooze. So that's yeah. the same way on the pill phone. There's only one button. You say, I've taken it or snooze. So who, so who would actually configure this? In other words, it might be uh, interesting to the patient, but who else is involved in the chain? Sure. That's what's most interesting is that you can actually... Uh, manage the data and the schedule on a website or the handset. So, yeah. and to answer your question, the patient yeah. or the care provider. Uh, my son is on uh, medications for uh, ADD. Yeah. It's very important he doesn't miss those. Yeah. And so I don't uh, want to go and ask him for his phone. So Every I just day. go to the website, yeah. manages medications. I have a record of whether he's taking them or not. Yeah. And there's actually an alarm. So if he doesn't take a medication, yeah. uh, five minutes I get an SMS text. So I can go tell him to take his medication. Yeah. And so it's important for me, for my son's health, that he takes his medication. So, on. so you just mentioned SMS, but you know, of course, SMS is not really secure. Right, that's the So how, how does it your system says, work? It just that, says yeah. someone has not taken their medications. It doesn't yeah. tell me his name or what the medication is. Yeah. So it protects his privacy and the medication he is on. But the pill phone, his phone, is fully secured. So nobody else can see what he's taking? No, not at all. And I think you also showed me that you can do prescription refills on that, right? So your pharmacy can contact you when your pills run out? Absolutely. Yeah. And so as we uh, developed the pill phone application, it seemed like the next logical idea would be to allow retail pharmacy chains to send out prescription refill reminders, yeah. and uh, we're quickly putting that in place. So that sounds like a place where there's a monetization opportunity. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You're ringing the cash register, you're providing an easier experience for the customer, even easier than IVR, even easier than calling up the pharmacy. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's one click, say, yeah, refill, and you're done. So they actually can refill on the phone. In other words, the pharmacy says, your pills are finished, yes. and you click, yes, I want to refill. Yeah, there's actually two. There's two. Uh, there's two uh, interactions. One it says it's time for your refill. Do you want to re, uh, have us refill? You say yes, and uh, a few minutes later they say, hey, it's done. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah. So messages. the interesting thing is this: everybody's so used to iPhone and Android phones with all their buttons. This is actually on a feature phone. Well, yeah. you've actually hit the nail on the head, yeah. is that uh, this application goes across smartphones and feature phones, yeah. so there's no difference. And so a lot of people say you make a feature phone act and look like a smartphone, yeah. and that's part of the value proposition. Well, the interesting thing is I think your colleague was saying that a lot of people on a lot of medications are on feature phones, right? I mean, sort of oh, our absolutely. parents' generation is yes. not on <laughs> the newest droid yeah, or the absolutely. newest iPhone. This is what they so, need. So you know, my yeah. wife and I have newest droids, yeah. but my kids don't. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yet the per person I'm most concerned about are my children. Yeah. Sure that or your parents. And, and my parents, yeah. that's right. So tell us, it's a secure platform. Is this actually what you built, or are you using something that existed before? Oh, no. Uh, right. We built it, and, uh, and so it is a secure platform. It's uh, right. all based on uh, uh, you know, uh, open systems and tools, but uh, it is a secure platform that we built. So the carriers would sort of give you access to their members. Uh, but no, or they so, would give you access to their network. Yeah. So what happens yeah. is the carriers uh, provide an opportunity to place this application on their decks. I so see. Instead of downloading a ringtone or wallpaper, you yeah. download the pill phone, and uh, that information that you provide in the pill phone is all fully yeah. secure. So right now you're using this for pill and pill reminders. Where else yeah. can you go with this? It sounds like a lot of things you can remember. You can remind people and transmit secure information regarding health. Well, absolutely. Yeah. And so as you look at the first use case, which is uh, medication compliance, mm -hmm. uh, we had retail pharmacy chains come and say, hey, we want to use this to give a tool 
for our patients to reorder right on their handsets. And so, but they wanted it fully secure. That's why they like the pill phone. Yeah. Uh, the other uh, use case is certainly uh, disease monitoring. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, you know, monitor the diseases such as asthma, diabetes, and hypertension, yeah. and make sure the patient is following the correct clinical protocol and managing that disease. But again, the real value is it provides a care provider, such as a uh, father, mother yeah. uh, clinic, uh, or son or daughter of aging parents to look at a website, to look at the uh, 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 disease uh, monitoring and compliance to with, with permission protocols. obviously right. so the Absolutely. patient would just kind of report how they're feeling or maybe their blood pressure yep. and that would get uploaded and based yes. on that they might get information back absolutely do you, have, do you have that can we can you show us on the phone maybe do yeah. a quick little demo yeah what I have is let me open up the application so this is the version 1.0 you're talking about absolutely okay. and this would cost multiple different phones? Yes, we're currently on 125 different handsets on uh, Verizon, AT&T, iTunes, and Sprint. Okay. So, the, so for the patient's perspective, uh, you mentioned maybe if your uh, employer, if you agree to participate in this, your employer may incentivize you. In other words, you agree to monitor your blood pressure or et cetera, and you may get a bonus somewhere. Yeah, because it lowers the cost of care. There's a yeah. win for everybody. The patient's healthier, uh, the cost of care are lower, and so it uh, is easy for the payer or employer to provide an incentive. Now, this is a, uh, a demo file, obviously. Mm -hmm. You can see this patient is on Plavix, Lipitor, Adderall. But if I want to go into any one of these medications, uh, what happens is it uh, looks at all the information that's available on this medication, mm. and if I looked into the pill book, I would see all the uh, generic ingredients and all of the information that's available for, uh, uh, for, this, uh, uh, for this medication. I can add a reminder, and let's say I want to take it uh, daily at uh, 5.45 p.m., and I've just added a reminder for that medication. And who's, and who's providing this information? Is that Vocell, or are you guys are you subscribing from a, a big provider? Or? Well, all this information on the medications is provided from the pill book. The pill book is the leading consumer reference publication okay. for uh, uh, prescription reference, and it's all FDA-approved information. So all the information yeah. in the pill book is in the pill phone, yeah. and also the medication list is provided by the patient. So you just mentioned FDA approval. I mean, you're here interacting with drugs and patients. Is FDA approval necessary? Yeah, we actually went to the FDA and uh, asked them if they thought this needed to be an 